today about uh, the seven points that I think is important in cultivation. Number one is you have to be genuine. Uh, people can read through if you're a phony. And so be very genuine in everything you do when you're dealing with prospective donors. Number two, follow the golden rule. What's a golden rule? Treat people like you'd like to be treated. Treat people like you would like to be treated. That's a basic principle that everyone in this business should know. Number three, go the extra mile. I remember when I was uh, working at Auburn, uh, I had a, a donor that invited me to his, his daughter's wedding. It was two and a half hour drive to the wedding. I drove to the wedding. I spent, uh, you know, a, a few minutes at the wedding. I came, got in my car, came back to Auburn, another two and a half hours, about five hour drive. But he really appreciated that. And, and I wanted to do it. And so I went the extra mile. And I would encourage you, go the extra mile. Number four is be thoughtful. Uh, you know, remember birthdays. Uh, remember significant events in the donor's life. Uh, they like to hear from you. But don't just uh, call them on the phone. Send them a card. Send them a note. Something. But be very thoughtful. That's important. And number five, keep your word. If you say, I'm going to do something, then do it. And I would say to you, do it within 72 hours. Don't do it, you know, three weeks later or whatever, because when you do that, when you wait that long, you're going to lose all the, the confidence and trust that that prospective donor has in you. So if you can't do it, if someone says to you, I'd like for you to do A, B, C, D, and you say, okay, I'll do that, then you should do it. And as I said earlier, you should do it within 72 hours of the meeting. But if you can't do it, say to that person, I can't do this right now, but I will get back to you as soon as I can. Number six. Treat information as sacred trust. Treat information as sacred trust. People tell you things, and I have found in my years in this business, since about 40 years I've been in the business, people will tell you more than you need to know. But keep that, uh, keep that information confidential. Don't share that information with your colleagues or with other people. And certainly don't put that kind of confidential information in a contact report. Because you only want information in a contact report that you wouldn't be afraid of the, of the prospective donor reading that. And number seven, walk your talk. In other words, do what you say you're going to do sooner rather than later. Walk your talk. And the last point I want to make, and this, these are the seven points as far as, as, uh, as, as cultivation, cultivating uh, prospects. But I want, to, I want to bring one more comment out to you. I, uh, I was in a school yesterday, and, and leaving the school, it was a very small school, about 200 students, and I said a little prayer to myself. I said, thank God that I'm in this business that I can in some small way help this school and help these people or these students that are there. And I hope you're feeling the same way. It's a great business to be in, and I would say, you know, uh, enjoy that.